Hi there, Ryan from Metro Hobbies. Today we're going to take a look at replacement model car bodies. Somewhere along the line, your body is going to get broken beyond any kind of ability to repair it and you're going to have to replace it. A lot of people in competition change their bodies regularly because they have team colours or something like that. So today I'm going to show you just the basics of uh, setting up a new little body. Replacement bodies generally will come in a transparent form and need to be cut out. There are a few replacement bodies that are pre-painted and so on, but if you want to do your own individual colours, then that's not really going to help you. So just looking at the transparent type bodies, um, they will need to be cut out where the wheels would go along panel lines. So I always say to people, look very, very carefully where you have to cut um, and uh, cut once you're satisfied that the line is the actual line that you're going to be using for your particular model car because once you've cut the wrong place, can't always be fixed up. A lot of the bodies and reputable bodies will come out with a clear protective film over the top of the body and that is basically to save the body from overspray because with these type of bodies you actually spray them from the inside. The, the paint that we use for polycarb bodies is a polycarbonate type paint so make sure that it's, it has polycarbonate on it because if you use an ordinary spray paint on the polycarbonate type plastics it will actually scratch away and um, when the body flexes it will flake off and won't look very very nice. When cutting out polycarb bodies use a pair of scissors. There are spe specifically manufactured scissors for the job but you can use a small pair of nail scissors. Just be careful that when you're actually cutting that with the tips of the scissors that you never ever completely close them. Always keep them slightly open because if you close they can, that snip can cause a crack in polycarbonate. Look carefully, watch where you're going, cut out your body. Once all the body's been cut out and you're sort of ready now to start painting it, have an idea of what sort of pattern you want to put on before uh, getting all the paints and get yourself a good quality masking tape or a mask oil which is like a latex that you can brush on and it dries and can be slightly trimmed and so on to suit the pattern. Um, when spraying these type of bodies too, always start with the darkest colour that you're going to have on your body first. So mask off all appropriately to accept the darkest colour and then work to your lightest colours because you can then over spray dark colours with light colours and it won't actually show up on the outside of the body. Once the body is all sprayed up, you can then carefully remove the clear film that is on the body that has now prevented any kind of overspray going on the outside of the body. Um, but do remember to remove the clear film because if you put your stickers and decals and such the like onto it while the uh, clear film is still on, eventually the clear film will work itself off and uh, you'll lose all your pretty design. Once you've cut out your body and you're all happy with the trimming and such the like, it is critical that you make sure that all the body mounting post holes are drilled in the body and that your body fits onto the car perfectly exactly the way you're going to want it when it's finished before you start painting because once you paint it's going to be very difficult to see things that may be touching the plastic where body posts are supposed to go so drill all your body post holes first before you paint the body it is an idea though with all these holes in the body to actually put a bit of tape over the outside of them when you're spraying so that no paint comes through when you're spraying on the inside and end up all over your hand and possibly around areas where the protective tape may have lifted. When painting these type of bodies and you've got it all masked off and ready to go, give your can a good shake, agitate it so that the paint is thoroughly mixed inside. If it's cold weather, you can warm the can up a little bit in warm water, but be careful because warm water will increase the pressure inside and a lot more paint may come out than what you require. So don't get them too hot. But in cooler weather, it is an idea just to warm up the paint. It just makes it flow a little bit better and also helps with the evaporation once it hits the model. Polycar paints do dry very, very fast. So when you're spraying, just a light coat. Even if you miss areas, don't try and go back over them because you can create runs. Wait for it to dry and then target those missed areas on your next attack so that you don't get too much paint on there. Try and keep the paint spray onto the car to a minimum because the weight of that can is extra weight that you're putting onto your car and that's eventually your poor little car has got to carry that unnecessary weight around. And in a competition situation it is quite critical. It's the difference between first and second place. 
when spraying just hold the body away from you just about 30 centimeters and just lightly press even strokes back and forth just slightly overlapping but never revisit a section that you've already sprayed until it's thoroughly dried with a lot of little model car bodies uh, they supply you aftermarket stickers to just basically get a bit creative and customize it to your own liking but putting stickers on if you don't know how to do it properly can be a bit of a pain because once they touch that polycarbonate they're very very hard to remove so you need to get them in the right place the first time with small stickers a scalper blade or a screwdriver can be used because with smaller ones all you do is just pick up a corner of the sticker have it on your on your blade go to the model where you want to position it line it up and then just touch it and it's on nice and smooth and straight but bigger stickers can get air trapped underneath them so you need to keep the backing on them get the sticker that you want to put on carefully cut around them even though a lot of these stickers have um, pre-cuts around them don't be tempted to use those initially by taking the sticker off keep as much of the background with it the backing paper once you've done that then you can trim off any of the excess that's around the pre-cuts get them all out of the way but now to apply the sticker safely into an area that you've de decided to put it the best way is to remove a tiny bit of the backing so lift up some of the sticker exposing the sticky get your scissors and cut off just the smallest amount of the backing away so that there's a tiny bit of sticky exposed then carefully go to the model hold the sticky side up and slide the sticker around to the point where you want it to be located and then touch down the sticky now that sticker will be attached to there and then carefully roll it back and roll the paper out from underneath it and rubbing as you go along that'll ensure you don't get any little air bubbles caught underneath it and that the sticker will end up on your car perfectly flat and smooth once you've got all the stickers exactly where you want them and all nice and straight body back onto your car and go and get dirty with a very very special type of paint not just any well geez that was great <laughs>